my channel and I'm excited today to talk about two new palettes that I just received. Yes, I got both of the new Juvia palettes. Um, this one is the Magic palette and then this one is the Zulu palette. And just stay tuned so I can tell you how I feel about these palettes and also show you the swatches. First, I'm going to talk about the Magic palette from Juvia's Place. If you receive the Masquerade palette before, it's the same size. So let me hold it up so you can see. So this is how the palettes look side by side. These are large palettes. This is the Masquerade palette, and then this is the new Magic palette. And in this palette, it has 16 shades, which looks like this, which range from at the bottom, like your cool colors, and then at the top, it has your warm colors. So this is how the palette looks on the inside. Again, what attracted me with the palette was basically these two rows here at the bottom. I love cool colors. Like, my favorite colors are, like, blues and purple. So, when I saw that and saw those colors, I was instantly attracted to this palette. But I also like the top two rows also. There, that's like, This whole palette is just beautiful. Love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. The second palette is the Zudu palette, which looks like this. And compared, the only other one I have is this palette here. So, it is larger. I believe in size than this palette, but this is how this one looks. And this palette here has nine shades, which looks like this. This one is very colorful compared to the Magic palette by Juvia's Place, but again, I love the shades. And when I look at my palettes that I have, I really didn't have too many palettes that had bright colors. Mostly mine is usually neutral colors or browns with a couple of hints of color. So. I wanted to try this out to kind of step out the box and try some more color. So this is why I picked this up. Again, a beautiful palette. Love this one also. Out of both of these palettes, I would have to say I like the Magic palette better. Basically because I know I would use this every day compared to this one. That's why I say I don't really wear too many bright colors. But I did pick this up. So on the days I do want to wear it, I have a palette for it. But overall, I do love both of these palettes. I never have any problems with Juvia's Place. Um, I always get my palettes in a pretty good time frame. Um, I never had any issues with the packaging, no cracked shadows or anything like that. So I just want to put it out there. My experience so far has been good. Again, with the shipping, I got these pretty fast. Now, I would say the Magic Palette, I kind of had to wait longer. Because usually whenever I order, I get it in within a week. Um, I know the Zulu Palette, I did get in. Uh, within a week, but the magic palette, I think it took almost two weeks, but how I feel is anytime I order something that's brand new on the market, I always kind of put that extra time because I know it's going to be in high demand, so it really didn't bother me, but I just want to kind of put that out there, but now I think they fully stocked with those, so I think you should be good when you order. As for the shadows, this is what I'm actually wearing today. I'm wearing the Magic palette. Um, I overall do enjoy the palette. I didn't have any issues applying the shadow. Um, it blended well. Um, just had a little fallout, but nothing, you know, too crazy compared to my other palettes. Um, the shadows actually felt real creamy, real buttery. It's not chalky at all, which I, you know, that's a major plus whenever I do get eyeshadows. And I, again, I love all the colors, all the colors I can use. And it's good for my skin tone because I know some palettes that I do pick up, some of the shades really don't work for my skin tone. But every color that I use from the palettes is wonderful. It works great. I will have the swatches towards the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.
section of Metropolis. We call that classy brass. Another paper, something like a terminator. Ain't no equivocating. I look for what I believe. I ain't talking about it. It's just that we're burning. Some calling me a sinner, some calling me a winner. I'm calling you to do it. You know exactly what I mean. I'm talking about you. You can rock or you can leave. I can't tip without you. So you fall into the ground. It's a challenge, but I manage Cause I'm cautious with the strap Do damage to your cameras That a doctor cannot pass See why you don't want no vision Like the back of a matchbook That if it's asked for in your MacBook Close so shut you down Before we go go back What's packed up And whether we high or low We gonna get back up Like the Dow Jones and Nasdaq So I'm gonna ask crack Come on Whether you're high or low Whether you're high or low You got to tip on the tightrope Tip on the tightrope Tip on the tightrope 